Hello and welcome to the short tutorial on how to draw a metric bolt in SOLIDWORKS. Our example will be a M8 20mm bolt. To do this, I already started a new part with all the equations to speed things up. So here we have the new part with the equations. For the equations, our top four values are the most important ones. Our major diameter, which is our M value of 8, the length of 20, the pitch, the head height, and then further we have the head apex distance, the radius fillet, the major radius, the color height, the head apex radius, and the color radius, and chamfer, threaded, and the rest of the values here are the calculations for the threads. And the bottom four are just there to have a, as a reference or to check later on if you have everything correct. All these values are based, of course, on the basic drawing of how to draw threads. This is a basic drawing where you can see which value means what. H is your full thread triangle. This is your major diameter. And here you see the nice outline of how the tooth cut should look like. This is your tooth depth, 5H over 8. And for a tooth triangle, we have 5H over 8 plus H over 4. So once these are all in, we can start with our first part, which is a revolved extrusion. Start with the center line to make things easier. This center line can be just infinite length, doesn't matter. Then we can make our basic sketch. This is our head. We have our little color here, all the way down, like this. Now we can start adding uh, the values. So from our head, on top there we have the the head apex width over 2, hit OK, that's it. Next value, let's say we, we grab all these first, so that'll be from there to there. This will be our um, color radius, color radius, there we have it, hit OK, yes. And then of course here our M value which is just basically your major diameter over 2. Your major radius, there we have it. Hit OK, yes. Nearly there. Here, from there to there, we have our K value, which is the height of the head. K value, hit OK, yes. And then this bottom part, is quite tiny that's our color height color h hit ok yes so it's that's only tiny the last value is the length l or bolt length then we exit dimension and sketch there we have a revolve feature. Using the revolve feature is also closer to the way bolts are made, which starts basically with a rod. So once we have this, it's time to go to our next part, which is an extrude cut for our head. Select extrude, select the top part. There we can just draw a hexagon from the center, hit OK. This side, let's make that horizontal, and this just coincident with the outer side. That's enough to define it. Once that is OK, hit OK, and we extrude, or we cut rather, through all. Hit OK, oh, cancel, and flip side to cut, that's better. Okay, that's starting to look like a bolt. Next thing is we make uh, another extruded cut. This one will also be on the top plane. Right there. 
and there we draw a circle again from the center and the circle will be tangent with any side hit ok and here we make flip side cuts of course and then we make a draft angle the draft angle here is not 30 but 60 because it's 90 minus 30 degrees so we hit 60 yep that looks good hit ok that's perfect next is a, a little chamfer on the bottom select the chamfer commands the bottom and here we can add i think that's chamfer one value cham one hit ok and that's it next we make a fillet on the bottom of the head fillet and here as well we use our oh, we use our equations and this is our uh, rat radius fillet there we have it hit okay alrighty that's perfect for the head the only thing we have left to do there for now is make a fillet on these outer edges same thing select fillet and then we just select all these edges same here equal sign and then input the value our next step is adding a helix for the path of our tooth cut our curve helix we select the bottom face there we draw a circle from our center point and we'll make that one coincident with our outer diameter make it co-radial yep that's all we need hit ok here we take a height and pitch and a variable pitch so that we can make a nice that we can taper it off uh, towards the end here our base value is 1.25 for pitch start height is zero then let's grab 19.7 here for 125 that stays at 8 and our third value which is our max length also 125 and here we go to 10 so what's happening here is that starting our last quarter revolution we expand the diameter from 8 to 10 so that our tooth cut will taper off if you would leave this as a a constant pitch you know your your tooth cut would end really abruptly which is nearly impossible to machine um, start angle can be adjusted just the way you need it uh, this will just rotate your spiral make it clockwise so you have the correct um, orientation after that hit ok next step is creating our swept cut to this we first make a sketch we do this on the right plane there we make a polygon with three sides let's put it right here something something like that that's close enough so this line becomes collinear with or let's select that line first yes collinear there okay let's expand it a bit and let's make everything uh, for construction we add one additional line over here the construction line that one can be infinite length that will be later on for reference purposes always good to have around and we need one construction line just in a triangle and this line vertical perfect so now we can dimension it 
so the the whole triangle here which is not h you know it's it's it is missing um the peaks over there so this will be our 5h over 8 plus uh, h over 4 hit okay yes and next step will be defining this distance which is which will be just our 5h over 8 select this back to our x sign and then here we have our 5h over 8 okay so we're we're nearly done this point here we're going to make this coincident with the bottom line here and that defines our triangle so we're not there yet this is all construction oh there it's all construction and now all we need here is our curve for the the tooth radius so we make a, a three point arc select the first point second point just anywhere here that'll do so now this is still not defined so we'll dimension this that is our root radius hit ok there we have it and now everything is defined so we add the lines to make our cut so we need this part all the way to there all the way to there so that's our tooth cut hit ok and now we can go to features and our swept cut sketch 5 is already selected perfect and as pad we select our curve right there that looks pretty good hit ok and now we see here that it tapers off nicely below our color it's maybe going a little bit in our head here this can be easily corrected by adjusting the the spiral here so let's here if we go to zero degree you'll see that it i think it goes forward so we need to go backwards 90 so edit feature take 180 hit ok and that's perfect tape is off nicely where we want it we can add a fillet to the bottom of the head here so we select fillet it'll auto select all the edges as value we dimension it with same thing here radius fillet 0 0.4 hit ok that finishes all our features now we can hide our helix add material here we can just take let's say the 34 cr4 hit apply close it and there you have it a nice looking hex bolt ready for printing um, the only thing that is not included of course are all the tolerances Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.